Hello, hello again. Uh, uh, here's your host, uh, Commander Haas, with your co-host. It's Pope! It's a millennial ruined everything is back! <laughs> <laughs> we had a little delay there um, for about a month, but uh, now we're back. And uh, yeah, so what are, what are we talking about today, Pope? We are talking about Goosebumps. Yeah, that lovely TV show from the 90s that everyone definitely remembers. We did. We meant to record this earlier. Haas got his, uh, his penis trapped in a Chinese finger trap. That was a terrible accident. Remember, kids. Remember, kids. <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Chinese trap. What the fuck? Anyway, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, we're talking about Goosebumps, motherfuckers. Unedited. Raw. Raw dog. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, Goosebumps, Goosebumps uh, do, you do you remember your first time watching this show? I remember my first time watching Goosebumps as a kid. I was just bored, flipping through channels, Spongebob was on, and then this bullshit came on. I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, and it was it was wild, because like, most of the episodes, like like you said, Bo, the, the, like the main character is like the sanest person out of everyone. Everyone's just an idiot. And insane, like they're like, oh, well, you can't go out there because then the booty goons will get you. It's like, then why the fuck does anyone do anything about them? This is uh, particularly true about the werewolf skin episode, where it, it seems like everybody in the town except for the main characters is ape shit. It co- it also could be that no one in the show can act. Like there there's there are approximately zero good epi- good actors in every episode. Oh my god, it's just. No good actors, like, whatsoever. Like, it was all B-list characters. Like, not even that. Like, these are just people that worked at the local Walgreens. Like, they just react for a day. These people are fucking terrible. Even then, they were terrible. They're fucking terrible now. I, I don't know if they got these people from, like, a discount child actor bin or what. Don't even get me started on the child actors. They're like, something bad happens. Wow. It's like, oh, what the fuck? One of my favorite, the guy in the uh, werewolf skin episode who gets bitten by mosquitoes. Uh, they like my blood. <laughs> All right, now that dude, that dude, that, that dude was a bozo. That dude was and, tripping. And that word is as dated as the show we're watching. That shit, there's something wrong with all of them. The, the, there's always a good bully in a lot of episodes. There's always a good bully. There has to be the one kid that's always a dickhead, and you wouldn't mind seeing get thrown into a wood chipper. Yeah, the haunted mask episodes have a ton of them. <sighs> Like someone just runs up, uh, hey, hey, you know, hey, Dick knows what are you doing for Halloween? I, I remember reading the books; it was creepy. Like it's like the fucking wer- like seeing, like hearing the uh, reading about the werewolves running and chasing the kid. The werewolf skin book was different than the actual show, because in the book, at the end, the lady, uh, um, the lady like bites the guy. She's like, "I'm sorry about doing this." Rawr. And then the book just ends. It's like, what the fuck? Did not read the books. I didn't know how to read when I was a kid. I. uh... Yeah, I just read. They didn't uh, teach that at the Vatican. Yeah, I just, I just, I just read a, you know, the back of Game of Former magazines and uh, occasional word puzzles that I never solved because I couldn't understand them. Dark yeah. times, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I read times. VHS boxes sometimes. I read the back of Jason X a few times. So <laughs> that's that's all I read. Ah, what a shame. Now, the show. Hmm. Uh, overall, did I uh, is it enjoyable? Hmm. Yes, but is it good? No, it's it's. It, you can watch it now. So some of them are like the acting might be so bad to you sometimes. You're like, holy shit! I want to kill everybody here. But you you can laugh at it. It's easy to laugh at. It's very '90s. It's incredibly '90s. Everybody dresses like shit. There's a lot of flannel and den- denim in here. Yeah, it's very gene uh, focused. Like, you can see the turn of the office revolution when people started to wear jeans everywhere. Everybody in this show looks like they could be in a Sega Genesis commercial. They all look horrible. Pope, did you have a Sega Genesis as a kid? No, I did not. I had a uh, Nintendo 64. No, I'm sensing some flack from there. <laughs> no, I just... The, the, well, the Sega Genesis commercial was, like, real edgy and shit, you know? Mm, mm, I got you. Yeah, they'd be, like, kids slapping other kids on the ear, like, yeah, Nintendo, suck it. But yeah, fuck you, Sega. Look how you turned out. Anyway, um... So, yeah, Goosebumps. We, we... <laughs> yeah, Werewolf Skin... Is it one of the few episodes I think still has a couple of scares in it? The werewolf jumping through the window still gets me. I used to have this episode on VHS back in the day. A couple of weeks ago, while I was playing um, video games after my uh, accident, I'm watching. Accident? What happened? 
<laughs> oh, you're, that's right, the finger trap. Yeah, yeah the finger trap. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. Did they reattach it or what? Oh, God. Um, they tried to, but uh, apparently the staples fell out. And uh, when, oh. when I was walking to the hospital, it uh, got picked up by a hawk. So oh. hopefully he oh. brings it back eventually. I've been, oh. Can I've been they get you like a skin graft? I mean, if you want to donate some of your skin cells, Pope, I would very much appreciate it. Well, I, I lost my penis in the war. No, what war? The Bald Hat War? Yes. Oh, God. Terrible war. Yes. Terrible war. Yeah. So many lives. So many I was lives watching uh, Kids Next Door. It was 7, uh, seven, uh, seven o'clock in the uh, afternoon. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the neighbor's dog got it. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Just like One Nut Willie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy One Nut Will, who recently lost his uh, testicle to a dog bite. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're doing all right, Will. At least half of you is. It's only half the man he used to be. <laughs> now, um, fucking Goosebumps. Uh, I only see him every once in a while. You only see him every once in a while. Uh, you can only see him one time. All right, anyway. <laughs> That's not funny. It's tragic. Yes, very tragic. Very tragic. Yeah, what if it happened to you? You know, it's not funny. Uh, I know it'd be terrible. Would you donate a testicle to me? No. 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 Uh, I only have one. <laughs> oh, that's right. I told you, ball tap war. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? What was that then? That was nothing. What? What? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, goosebumps. So fucking dated. So dated. Like, it's older than us right now. Well, actually, not really. That's not true, because both Pope and I are around 48. So, so what was so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Opening my heart to you, and you're laughing at me. Pope. You're still laughing. <laughs> you're still laughing. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm laughing with you. It doesn't feel like it. I'm not laughing. So how are you laughing with me? Because you're laughing on the inside. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Pope? Haas? Yes? You called me first. <laughs> you good? On one side. Touch my leg. You good? I'll touch my leg. You good? I'll touch my leg. <laughs> I am sensitive. That's how the dog got me. <laughs> you good? Let me alone. Let me alone. Let me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I'm right. So would you recommend Goosebumps? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck no. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if I like this show, to be honest. It's, it's a fucking piece of shit. It's a travesty. But it, it is, uh, if you watched it then and you haven't seen it since, absolutely watch it. It's on Netflix. Kid section. Uh... Which, by the way, it shouldn't be a fucking kid show. No, nobody should watch the show, <laughs> let alone children. But this isn't a long dark time like Johnny Bravo sanctioned kids shows that they realize they shouldn't have sanctioned. Yeah, this is a uh, this is absolute garbage. This is mind numbing to children. This is a uh, I I would I would I would uh, I would say watch it, but uh, not in the sense of like it's good and you need to see it. <laughs> yeah, I I I don't think I recommend it at all. It's preposterous. A lot of the episodes are like they're really wild ideas, like the one with the lawn gnome or the. Neighbor gets turned into a fucking gnome and shit. Oh my god! Or like the the one we just watched with the dad that was like fucking stay out of the fucking. basement. Stay this, out of the basement. This is like the second scary one in a sense that it's like the parent is the bad one because typically the parent doesn't agree. They're always like, oh okay, but in, in this case, the, there's no one they can run to. Although there is one uh, that reminds me of not a good episode, but there's one with this fat boy. <laughs> I don't know. Why I both threw him under the bus there, Buster, but a portly boy. Uh, he reads a lot of comic books and shit, and he, he is in one of the comic books all of a sudden. And he's he, in one of the comic books. Yeah, he sees himself and he's like, "What in the world?" And he uh, he's like, "Mom, gee whiz, look at this!" And uh, his mom's just uh, like, "Ah, oh, yeah, okay, maybe you, did you write into the uh, the 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 writer or something? You must have." And he's like, "No, mom, look, why am I in this book?" And they're like, oh, "Okay, but you want to leave? Uh, all right, bye. I'm gonna go drink now." And they they are just like, "All right, yeah, well, fuck off, then, buddy." <laughs> There's a lot of episodes where the parents are just, oh, all right. They talk about the parents basically acting like they did in that, what, the Peanut show from, like, the 60s or 70s or whatever. 
A lot of negligence. Yeah, where it's like the parents just don't don't look like they're involved, don't look like they give a shit, and the kids are basically trying to fend for themselves. Isn't that basically the whole premise of the movie? It. It is a. Uh, it um. <clears throat> it, it is is like uh, uh fuck that movie. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Goosebumps is uh. Did you ever read the book? It is random side note. Oh, I did not read the book. It. Is, uh, but when I, uh, I, I was scared of books until I was 20. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess you're still scared of them then? Yes. Okay. Well, well no, not anymore because we're 48. Oh, yeah, right. Correct. 48, yeah. Yes. So well, the book, I, I didn't read the book, but there's an infamous scene in there where they, uh, they uh, gang bang the girl in the sewer. Did you know about that? I don't know how Stephen King is not in trouble for that. I, I he heard... wrote a scene about prepubescent. No, not pre prepubescent. Were they all like twelve or thirteen? Uh, not twelve. Were they like thirteen I, or something? I think they were. Yeah, like he wrote a book about a bunch of thirteen-year-olds having a gangbang. Like, what the fuck? You never went to summer camp. <sighs> anyway, uh, well, I think when he wrote it, I think that was like a dark time in his life. Like he was on a ton of drugs and shit like that. What the fuck? Then why did he publish it? He's on drugs. You don't know what he's doing. Did he get any backlash for that? I have no idea. I mean, he, back then he was writing like a book or two a year. Uh, like he wrote a ton of fucking books in a row. Even under like different names and shit. Like Richard, Richard Bachman, I think was the fake name he used. He used fake names? Yeah, there was a point where back then they thought like if you publish too many books in one year, it might overexpose the author. So he started writing books under fake names, so he'd have like two or three out in one year. Really? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. So you can look at the Richard Bachman books. He wrote like seven or eight, I think. I Thinner might be one of them. You know, now I think it will just say Stephen King, but if you get a, like a republished version of it, you should also check out his Twitter. He's pretty interesting. But anyway, anyway, uh, R.L. Stein wrote these, not Stephen King, yep. even though they both are uh, disturbing-looking individuals. Oh, what's R.L. Stein do? He he just looks a little weird. Hmm. He's in one of the episodes. He's in a couple. He's in uh, the haunted mask. I know. He's like the in the beginning of it. He he did do another show after this. It was uh, mostly ghostly or something like that. You see, I don't understand how like R.L. Stein just like he's like, hey, I'm gonna capitalize on the market of scaring the shit out of kids. He's written many series. Fear Street, I think, was another one. Fear Street. Yeah, that was like before Ghostbusters, maybe. Mm -hmm. I want to say he wrote. He did have another show after this. That was like an hour long, I believe. Hour long. Yeah, he had a movie too. Like, there was the uh, Goosebumps movie with Jack Black in it. I have not seen that of you. No, absolutely not. Why? I just I don't know. <laughs> I just I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. But yeah, it was, yeah, never read any of his actual books. I always had them because I thought the covers were cool, but did not read any of them. I was a delinquent. You were delinquent. Yeah, so was I. That's what I said. We were delinquents back in the. The, the 70s. 1870s. 1870s? Alright, so we're 148. I was 18 in the 70s. Which 70s? 1770. How old are you, Pope? I was born in, uh, in uh, 1984. 1984? AD. AD? Yeah. No, I was born in BC. I'm actually a vampire. I was I was born uh I was born once. I think we're all born once. <laughs> Some people hatch. Some people hatch. Who would you say is hatched? Uh those fucking uh those fucking uh actors from the wolf skin. Yes. Uh My Michael goodness. Jackson after the surgery was a replacement. He was a hatched uh he was hatched out of a microtube. Same with Bill Cosby, right? No. <laughs> no, he's real. John Travolta was hatched. By the way, uh, if, if no one knows this, uh, David Bowie is just in retirement, secretly. He's actually not dead. No, he was hatched. He's, he's hatched too? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he was, a, he was one of the, uh, the men in black. He's Agent D now. Hmm. Yeah. So. What? What else on this fucking show? I have nothing. I don't know if I have anything for the show. It was a show that was always weird, you know. Yeah, it's you, you. can actually get really tired of this really fucking quick. You can watch a few and have a lot of fun, but somewhere around like three or four, you kind of start getting pissed. You're like, oh man, this. 
I'm kind of getting Absolutely. sick of the routine of this. God forbid you marathon it. You're going to hate your fucking life. I did once a couple months ago. It was bad. It was a bad idea. <laughs> How long did you watch? I, I think I got to the sixth one, and I got really mad. <laughs> I watched, like, the Haunted Mask episodes. Maybe one of the Night of the Living Dummies. And I watched, like, uh, Say Cheese and Die or something like that. And there was one more... I can't remember which one it was. It was one of like the less noteworthy ones, and I got really fucking mad watching it. <laughs> so I was just like, "Why am I still watching this bullshit?" But I put it on myself, my drug. You know. So, yeah. Oh, a Werewolf of Fever Swamp was a uh, a good episode too. Speaking of werewolf skin. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I remember that one. A Fever Swamp. I had on VHS. I had on VHS. I had on the lamp four times on VHS. I had uh, the yes, I did too. Of course, everyone did. By the way, kids, uh, if you didn't watch Land Before Time, you have to do that. Two, two millennials aren't going to ruin that because it doesn't need ruined. We might. What? There's 20 of them. It's like 20 of those fucking movies. You might have to ruin one of them. Oh, fuck, there is, isn't there? I, I'm sure I... I know they had a TV show. I used to watch that, too. But I'd probably seen the first couple movies. I remember the first one specifically with Littlefoot's mother dying and all that. That's like the one everyone remembers. Oh, I remember almost like crying at that. Oh, that was fucked up. Two millennials ruined Bambi. Did you watch Bambi when the mother dies? Fuck Bambi. Dude, I w you know The Lion King, right? Well, obviously. I, we watched The Lion King in like first grade. I had already seen it. In my memory, in my memory as a child, as a younger child, I guess, uh, Mustafa did not die. And we were watching it, and he didn't get up, and I was like, what? What do you mean in your like, memories you didn't I die? had seen it when I was, like, a baby. Oh. And in my mind, he, and I thought he lived for some reason. Like, I must have thought Simba was Mustafa or something. I don't know. Mm. Like, I was really young. So did that, did that blow your mind? And, it, yeah, we're watching it in first grade, and me and some kid are arguing. I'm like, no, he's going to live. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. And he's like, no, he's not. We watch this fart knocker, and then we see it, and uh, he doesn't get up. You know? You know what movie fucked me up as a kid? What? March of the Penguins. I did see that too. I was a uh, fuck that movie. Also, it's a uh, voice by a uh, voice by another uh, dirty boy. Another monster named Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan fucking Freeman. <laughs> did you ever see Farce of the Penguins? Like Samuel L. Jackson narrated that one, I think. Farce of the Penguins. It was like a parody around the time. <laughs> did, did well, didn't he just swear or something? Yeah, there was a ton of curses in it. I yeah, like where a Penguin falls over, it just goes fuck. Right? Yeah, I remember thinking that was hilarious at the time, although I was young. But, yeah. Yeah, so, so everyone is always talking about March of the Penguins, and I've seen it. I don't remember a lot about it. But, but you know, the devil does narrate it. So. <laughs> no, uh, I'm, I, I I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kevin Spacey had nothing to do with it. But, uh. Sorry, yeah, Kevin Spacey is the fucking devil. Yeah, Brian Singer was not on set. But, um. Did you, <laughs> did you see Kevin Spacey's new movie? That was not part of the $126. <laughs> <laughs> box number. office records <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it I'm ODing on coke if I ever if I ever make a multi-million dollar movie and he gets 126 bucks I'm going into the, I can't pay for the Uber back to my house I'm dude not. I'm going to the distribution office and I'm whipping some ass I'm going up in Warner Brothers fucking <laughs> I'm beating someone's ass like Ice Cube and fucking Priority Records that is such a net loss holy shit like yeah, that's... You're going to see Kevin Spacey working out of Orange Julius by the end of the year. But, uh... Yeah, so, so anyway, what we're talking about... Oh, Goosebumps, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have anything ready to say about the show? I honestly don't know what else to say about it. It's it's, like, it's so formulaic. Yeah, it's, it has a formula, and it sticks to it. It's kind of like Drake and Josh, if... Uh, shout out back to a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of like Drake and Josh in that regard, but the difference is because, like, Drake and Josh are like, all right, we know we have to have a comedic funny a sad moment and then everyone's happy at the end you know and then it's kind of like ridiculous from start to finish but like with goosebumps it's like they always have to have like a cliffhanger at the end for a second part yeah there always has to be the and uh, then like everything is like it's so slowly paced and like it's mm, mm. yeah it's i liked it as a kid because there wasn't a whole lot like it similar to courage the cowardly dog was like a horror show for kids in a way I, I would say I would say Goosebumps is a horror show for kids because it it can definitely freak out a kid, but any adult watching it would just be enraged by its stupidity. Yeah. So I guess that what I'm trying to say is that kids are stupid. 
Yeah. <laughs> Kids are stupid enough to get scared by it, but adults are just going to be like, what the fuck? And Courage is a also a far superior show. Just throwing it out there. Courage Cutter Dog is a far superior show. Are we doing that on Wednesday? We can't ruin Courage. We're ruining Land Before Time. Courage is way more important than Land Before Time. That's true. So we're doing a... We're doing Bambi. No, we're doing Watership Down. No, I'm kidding. We're not doing Watership Down. Okay, you get to pick. You get to... Actually, actually, how about you vote in the comments? Vote in the comments. No, no one watches this. How about you vote in the comments? Do you want us we to... We already do... decided yesterday what we were doing Wednesday. You wants to do Johnny? We, we already talked about it. Wants to do Johnny Bravo? We literally or, discussed this or courage to less than die. twenty-four hours ago. <laughs> so vote in the comments, kids. We discussed this less than twenty-four hours ago. What we were doing? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, this this uh this sucks. This show is a uh, absolute shit. Don't watch this. For any any reason other than maybe to laugh once or twice, uh, we can't talk about the characters. They don't really have any uh, that are recurring. You have a favorite episode? We already went over it. You have a least favorite episode? Go for it. <sighs> least favorite. Fuck the ghost speech. Terrible episode. I honestly don't know. It's like the the, hair, the one where the kid grows the hair on his hands. That's also a weird episode. The only episode like it's not that I, I have a least favorite episode. It's that I have an episode that I don't hate the least. Which one's that? Like, probably, probably the werewolf episode. <laughs> so I knew it was going to go just werewolf skin. Yeah, just like, because like, those ones are okay, but like the other ones, they just piss me off. Yeah, the... Uh, I, don't the think, I don't think I can watch this show. I, I really I really cannot. I mean, like, one, I can watch one a day for a laugh, but I start getting mad, like, halfway through by the time we get to the end, and they do the little plot twist, and... Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it was cool as a kid, because you didn't really have any horror things for kids. I mean, every once in a while, maybe you, I used to be able to catch you going to sneeze on them, just ruin my show. Oh, you okay. oh, you're yawning. Okay, I'll let you go then. But maybe, you know, you used to catch like Halloween 4 on TV cut or something like that. But, oh, yeah. I know. You remember uh, when Jason versus uh, Freddy came on? Yes. That was fun. That was a terrible fucking movie. They're just ruining everything today. It is horrible. Was, watch that right now. Dude, that shit is terrible. That part where Freddy, like, decides to be a worm or whatever and crawl around. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I hate Freddy. Do you hate Freddy? I feel like you like Freddy, don't you? I hate Freddy. But I, w I would give you the first one's a great movie. And then you can kind of watch the ne next couple, but he is a really unnecessary. I I don't like Freddy. I I kind of like Jason just because he's an immortal weirdo. Because Jason doesn't have to tell me a, a fucking perverted joke before he cuts my head off. Yeah. Who are the jokes for, Fred? Who are the jokes for? Yeah. Who are you making laugh? Uh oh. Fuck out of here. Anyway. So uh, well, with that, what do you uh, what do you think of what do you think of the show? What do you think of the show? I feel like we should watch Friday the Thirteenth instead. <laughs> I've that, seen all of them. We yeah. can talk about it. And if that doesn't sum up this goddamn show, ladies and gentlemen, I'll I've seen all of them. We can do an episode right now. <laughs> Ask me about any of them. <laughs> There's twelve of them. Give me a random number. <laughs> one. One is the one where uh, his mother is the killer, and she gets her dome cut off on the beach at the end, and it goes rolling. It's pretty awesome. All right, five. Five is uh the the <laughs> that's the one at the halfway house where the kid gets killed over a fucking chocolate bar. And Jason's not actually in it. It's like a paramedic because his uh, his fat ass son got killed over a chocolate bar, and then he wants revenge, so he starts killing like mentally disturbed children. What the fuck? It's hilarious. It's not one of the better ones, but it's hilarious. <sighs> All right, well, so we give this one a good thumbs down. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is, this is the worst thing we've watched so far. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you next week. We'll catch you actually, not next week. We'll catch you Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. It's two millennials ruining what, what, everything. What? What? What are you doing? Record the jingle. I, I'm not even in the room. You said you were going to wait until I got back. I thought I, I, you were gone so long. I just wanted to do You left me alone. I wanted to do the jingle because I have stuff to do today. I wanted to do the fucking jingle. You fucking, you're gonna, ah, you gonna, you're gonna threaten me, you're gonna threaten me, get that gun out of my face, me. what are you doing, you're gonna threaten me, I'll put it in my mouth, ah, 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 love it, 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 I love it, I love it,
See you no! next week! Oh.